Why do I protect my squirrels in the wintertime? Because they protect me in the summertime. This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It's an honor to have you here. When I go out and work for ranches and farms, once in a while I ask, instead of uh, hard cash, can I just have some of your Milo for my birds? Or maybe some corn. Just an old ear of corn or two, a few, for my squirrels. I said for my squirrels. And of course they say, no problem, take what you want. But why do I feed my squirrels in the winter time? Well, they don't bother nothing, you might think, or they're kind of comical to watch. And rest assured, I've seen cats chase a squirrel. And up our power pole out front here, it's 40 foot up. And with that in mind, if an old tomcat's a chasing him, that uh, with just a few feet between them at the beginning, that old squirrel will be at the top of the pole and the cat is only a third of the way up and the squirrel is making fun of him. That's how fast they are and their reflexes are nothing short of amazing. And that is another reason that I feed them in the wintertime. To make sure they stick around, to have a good summer and to produce more squirrels. Why? They don't mess with my garden, but they do keep my enemy away. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. And that is, of course, the squirrel hates snakes. He hates them. He'll do everything he can to drive them out of the area because he's worried that that snake will get his offspring when they're still small. You bet. Be it a bull snake or a rattlesnake or any other snake out there, they, if they could, without mercy, kill his children. And so that squirrel's going to fight them. And kill some of them if they're small enough and even if they're bigger he can't kill them well he'll drive them off he'll drive them off and that's what a squirrel does absolutely and with his speed and dexterity you'd think he was almost a mongoose almost a mongoose absolutely and so that right there tells you why I feed squirrels in the winter because they protect me in the summer from snakes and if you say, well, a bull snake ain't no big deal, wrong. You see, that bull snake has small teeth. Oh, they're tiny, but they are also just as equally dangerous as a dirty needle. They bite frogs, toads, stuff like that. And so those teeth are very dangerous. And they can infect you. And if you didn't get immediate treatment, you could die. Almost a dozen people a year die from non venomous snake bites. Non venomous snake bites as well as poisonous snakes. And there seems to be getting more and more of them. And I see more and more of the public saying a rattlesnake has a right to live. And let's take that rattlesnake and put him out in the country. He'll be okay there. He won't hurt anybody there. Well, the ranch I work part-time for, they see about six baby calves killed every year by rattlesnakes. That's $12,000 to you city slickers. Somebody take $12,000 out of your checking account, I bet you'd be just a little bit more willing to try to stop it, no matter what you had to do. Now at that ranch, we have kill on sight. And anybody dumping snakes out there, they will be sued. They will be sued. They'll find out what the court system's all about. With that in mind, though, that's why I feed squirrels, because they keep snakes out of my yard, making it safer for me my family, and my pets. You guys have a good day. Why do I protect squirrels in the winter? Well, they protect me in the summer.